Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the obstacle avoidance sensor known as KY032. This is the module itself. So, let's get started. Today's video is brought to you by ORGVSN, an online store where you can find shirts, jeans and cool accessories that fit your needs. All the products are made in Italy. They can be shipped worldwide. So don't waste your time, start looking fancy today with their style. For more information, go to orgvsmshop.net or check it out at the link on the video description. This module has integrated on board two sensors one infrared transmitter and one infrared receiver. It's also integrated on board one microchip, one potentiometer, five resistors, two capacitors and two LEDs. The resistor R1 used in this module is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R2 is 1 kilo ohm. The resistor R3 is 100 ohms. The resistor R4 is 10 kilo ohms and the resistor R5 is 10 kilo ohms. The main reason for using the resistor is to limit current circulating inside the module, in other words, to prevent current from burning our module. We also have two capacitors, the capacitor C1 with a capacity of 0.1 microfarad and capacitor C2 with a capacity of 0.1 microfarad which are basically used to store energy. The LED L1 is used in this module to show if the module is working properly or not. And the LED L2 show if the module has detected any obstacle, so the LED L2 will light up every time that any obstacle has been detected by the sensors. Now I will show how these components are connected together. There we have the sensors itself, and of course, 5 resistors, 2 capacitors and 2 LEDs. On the right you can see how the pins of the module are connected on this board. We have in black the flow of the ground, we have in red the flow of the voltage, and of course we have in green the flow of the signal. This module is actually used to detect the obstacles that are in front of the module. The maximum distance that this sensor can detect is up to 40 cm. The sensor sends or transmits a 38 kHz infrared light that can go up to 40 cm and we can adjust it by using the potentiometer. After transmission, the infrared light it will scatter in the atmosphere but if they hit something that's between 0 cm to the maximum distance that we want, some of the infrared light will be absorbed by the object itself and the rest will be back, which then will be captured by the infrared receiver. In normal state, when the infrared receiver has not captured any infrared light emits by the transmitter, the signal that the receiver will give, it will be high but after detecting the infrared light, the infrared receiver will give a signal that will be low and in the same time the LED L2 will light up showing us that is an object in front of the sensors. The module is very good on detecting the obstacle and the signal that tells us that the object has been detected actually comes without a delay. Let's talk about the pins. The pins in this module are three. We have the ground pin with a GND sign, the voltage pin with a VCC sign and of course the pin of the signal with an OUT sign. So let's talk about the signal. This module gives a digital signal so we can connect the pins of the signal with any digital ports of different microcontroller boards like Arduino or Raspberry Pi.
That's it guys for today, if you liked the video hit that like button, if you want more videos like this one hit that subscribe button with a bell icon so you'll be notified for every video, we upload new videos every day so the only chance to see them first is of course through subscription, don't forget to check our social media and see you guys next time.